Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, in the previous class, we discussed about the order of the reaction. So, order of reaction means how many number of molecules are actually involved in the rate determining step of called the order of reaction. So, we discussed the first order reaction and we derived an expression for the first order reaction. So, this is the second. And this is this is the, the second one. Which is first uh, zero uh, zero order reaction, and now today we will discuss the first order reaction. So, what is the first order reaction? A reaction is said to be of first order if the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of only one reactant and is independent of the others at present. It means if the rate of reaction depends on the concentration of only one reactant then we call it the first order reaction no matter if others are present i mean if more than one reaction are present if the order of reaction depend on only one then we call it the first order reaction okay so this is for example a goes to product so this is we can write down if you remember the change in the concentration of a with respect to time is called the rate we can also write down k into a this one if a is the initial concentration of the reactant suppose a moles per dm3 is the initial concentration of the reactant a and after sometimes t x is the product form then we can write down the above equation this is the rate minus d a divided by dt d we can write down dx divided by dt minus dx divided by dt is equal to k into a minus x this is this is not minus this is actually this is <coughs> yes okay so this is we can write if a is the concentration of the initial concentration of the reactant A and X is the product formed after some time, then we can write down dx divided by dt is equal to k. Instead of A, we will put A minus X means the remaining concentration. A is the product form. So how much left? So we will put instead of A. So A minus X is the remaining concentration. Okay. This clear or not? Yes, sir. Clear, yes, sir. Okay. I'm rearranging dx divided by a minus x is equal to k dt. We can write down also if we rearrange. So we can write down dx divided by a minus x is equal to k dt. Taking integration on both the sides, we can write down dx into divided by a minus x is equal to integration k dt. If we take the integration, of both the sides so we can write down by this way this is the formula if we have a function for example a minus x is a function if we have x derivative in the nominator so we have this is do you know the integration you know no sir okay just i will i will no, solve sir, we don't. okay okay you just wait okay if we have a function suppose it function just wait i i want to i want to simplify it for you i was thinking you know that derivative of x and s derivative is present in the denominator it's 
This is Can you see what I am writing? Can you see? No, sir. Okay, just wait, but you eight minutes, okay? No, sir. Okay, sir. Don't worry, don't worry. I will, I will. Minus one. Divide by. Minus one divided by minus one. D divided by D X I can write down this way also copy Minus one. I want to make it simple for you people. Just wait, okay? When I finish, then I will. Okay, I can sir. write down. I can write down this way. Minus one. Write this way also. Okay. Okay, now if you remember, if I told you that f dx divided by a minus x is equal to kt, I take integration on both the side dx divided by a minus x. So dx divided by a minus x, how to solve the integration? This is the formula. If we have a function in the denominator and we have its derivative in the denominator, what we do, we take directly log of we take directly log of the function you can see log of a minus x you can see a log of if we have 
and nom uh, de derivative in the nominator and its function is pre uh, present in the denominator so we have to go directly for the log of a minus a now you can see here there f of x is a function its derivative is present in the denominator so how to solve this one so if we for example in this function dx divided by a minus x if we multiply minus one if we multiply divided minus one so you can see minus one divided by minus one can we write or not yes sir now i can write down one divided by sir. minus one minus one Hello, sir. sorry uh, sir you so students the bar bar message kai chile go mila okay please sir uh, okay Thank you, sir. Okay, now you can see this clear now. Minus, I can multiply minus one divided by minus. Uh, if we multiply minus, if we divide by minus, no, so nothing will happen to it. This clear or not? Minus one divided by minus one. Multiplied by minus one divided by minus one. This clear or not? Yes, sir. Now I can write down one divided by minus one into minus one dx a minus x. Can I write or not? Sir, shuru si revise kar le ek dafa pir. This is dx divided by a minus x integration is equal to k dt integration. This clear or not? This is clear. Yes, sir. It's clear. Now, I just want to remove this one for the time being. The one thing for you, this is uh, I can cut it down. Yes, yes. So this is you can see. Now you can see. I can, this is, this is equal dx divided by a minus x integration is equal to k dt. Okay, this clear or not? Yes, sir, it's clear. Now, how to solve this equation? Now, this is equal to minus log of a minus x is equal to k t plus c. How this is possible? Now, how we, we can solve this one? This is, I can multiply minus one. I can multi divide my minus one. This divided by minus one my, uh, uh, multiplied by minus one. Dx divided by a minus x. This clear or not? Yes, sir. Now I can I can also write one divided by minus one into integration minus one dx a minus x. Can I write or not? Yes, sir. This clear. Yes, sir, it's clear. Now, I can write down, I said, a minus x, a minus x, if we take the derivative of a minus x, the derivative of a minus x is minus 1. Derivative of a minus x is minus 1. Now, 1 divided by minus 1, I can, instead of minus 1, I can write down d divided by dx into a minus x because the derivative of a minus x is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 instead of minus 1, I can write d divided by dx into a minus x. Can I write, can I write or not? Sir, a minus x ki jo derivative minus 1 ye kahan se aaya, sir? <laughs> minus 1 is already there. You can see minus 1 is already there. this one you can see minus one dx divided by a minus x minus one is there yes sir yes sir no derivative of d derivative of a minus x is equal to minus one so instead of minus one i can put derivative of a minus x can i not yes sir now this is the rule if we have a function in the nominator in the denominator and its derivative is present in the denominator so i can take the log of the function that's why i wrote for dx divided by a minus x 
log of a minus x. This clear or not? Yes, sir, clear. Now minus already you can see minus divided by my you can see one divided one over minus one. So if I multiply minus one, so it will become totally minus log of a minus x. This clear or not? Yes, sir. All of you. No, sir. Not clear. Yes, you are not clear. G yes, sir. sir. Basically, this uh, derivation and okay. this was. Okay, just wait, wait, wait. This is clear. D divided by and dx divided by a minus x is equal to k dt. Integration, take the integration on both the side. This clear? G sir, sir, yeah, to clear. Yeah, to clear. Hai. Eight minute better, eight minute wait. Ye to mujhe derivative tak bhi jana padega. Sir, basic se padha de per samajha chahiye. So basic aapka to mathematics ka basic hai nahi na to isko ye hi tumme ye hi tumhe sa hai. Yes, sir, bilkul. Agar aapka basic ka mathematics ho to tabhi aapko samajha chahiye na. To ye hi to main soch raha hu ki aapko kaise derivative of dx divided by a minus x is equal to abhi samaj jayega theek hai don't worry don't worry main kar deta hu aap liye kuch okay sir lekin thoda sa wait kare kyunki main mujhe dobara likhna hi padta hai yes sir any one of you uh, having the mathematics background no No, sir. ये तो अल्लाह का शुक्र है फिर आप लोगों पे। सर किदेश ग्यारह मंथ यूनिवर्सिटी स्टार्ट ही सर नो बिया बाय इन्शाल्लाह क्लास क्यों को किदेश ही सर बिया लग इजी हुई। आप वो बेरा बात की बातें हैं या हो वो उसको चेक कम कम खबर आ जाएगा होती हूँ क्यों करे? Yes, sir. Okay. Now this is zero. आ जाएंगे don't worry आप समझ आ जाएगा। this is minus one. Okay. Allah Akbar. अच्छा ये देखें डेरावेटो ऑफ ए माइनस एक्स हाउ इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन डेरावेटो ऑफ ए माइनस एक्स कैन यू सी नाउ यस सर इज इट क्लियर नाउ टू ऑल ऑफ यू डी डिवाइड बाय डी एक्स इनटू ए माइनस एक्स आई कैन राइट डाउन दिस वन आल्सो डी डिवाइड बाय डी एक्स ए I separate minus d divided by dx into x. Can I write or not? Die about die about this one. Yes, sir. Clear. Yes, clear. Clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. clear. Now, derivative of a is a constant. This is the rule. Derivative of d divided by dx of a constant is equal to zero. This clear. This becomes zero. Yes, this sir. zero. Now dx divided by dx, a two divided by two. What you will get? One. Ah, uh, no minus dx divided by dx. You will get minus one. This clear or not? So sir, अभी तो आप कह रहे थे d by dx zero की equal है. No, but I said d divided by dx, a derivative of a constant. You can see, can you see the the d divided by dx into a? From here, I will get zero. 
No, minus d x divided by dx from here, I will get 1. So minus 1, you can see. Sir, we can simply say that a minus x is equal to 0 minus 1. So 0 is not equal to 1. So this is why I am saying that 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 I am dx divided by divided by a minus x integration and is equal to k dt integration okay now i said multiply and divide by minus one minus one can you can see minus one divided by minus one this this clear or not hello सर ये माइनस वन और ये ये माइनस वन और माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाई और डिवाइड किया है ना सर हमने यस यस मैंने डिवाइड किया तो कुछ फर्क तो नहीं पड़ेगा ना डिवाइड बाय नो सर डिवाइड और मल्टीप्लिकेशन मतलब ये दोनों आपस में कैंसल हो जाते हैं ना सर यू यू कैन यू कैन फॉर एग्जांपल माइनस वन माइनस वन this clear or not? Yes, sir. Female. Sir, what is this? Female. Hello. Yes, sir. I was ready, sir. But why, sir? Say this, sir. Poor you, pay. सर आप प्रोसीड करें हम बाद में भी चेक करेंगे ये खुद से भी आह वेक मुसलमान सर थैंक यू सर आप ईमेल बने सर यस सर यस सर यस सर यस सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच सर ओके सामान्य कुछ सर देखे बेटा मैंने आपको कहा कि डी एक्स डिवाइड बाई ए माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू के डी टी बाई अरेंजिंग डी एक्स डिवाइड बाई डी टी दिस इक्वेशन नाउ टेकिंग द इंटीग्रेशन ऑन बोथ दी साइड ओके डी एक्स डिवाइड बाई ए माइनस एक्स इंटीग्रेशन इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन टेकिंग इंटीग्रेशन ऑन बोथ दी साइड सो वेन वेन वी डू वन थिंग विद वन ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द इक्वेशन सो वी हैव टू टेक द सेम ऑपरेशन ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द इक्वेशन ऑल्सो सो टेकिंग इंटीग्रेशन ऑन बोथ दी साइड now take this term dx divided by a minus x integration we want to solve this one first so i said minus multiply and divide minus one by this term dx divided by a minus x this clear or not yes sir female yes sir this clear or not if i have clear it clear is up again okay now i can write down minus one divided by minus one i can do uh, i can also write down one divided by minus one so i take i took the minus one there you can see minus one dx i can write or not again you can solve with each other you will get the same thing clear or not yes sir clear now i said that a vector of a minus x this is you can see is equal to minus one so instead of minus one i keep i can put d divided by dx and two a minus x can i write or not sir third one step you clear nahi hai sir Third step. I make it out to minus one instead of minus one. I can put d divided by dx into a minus x or not according to this one. Minus one. I said the derivative of a minus x is equal to minus one. So instead of minus one, I can put the derivative of a minus x. I can put minus one. G sir, sir, clear it. Clear it. G sir. Now, yes, sir. Clear, yes, sir. Now, this is the rule. If we have a function a minus x in the denominator, 
and its derivative is present. You can see derivative is present in the nominator. You can see derivative is present there. Ji, sir. So we can take the log of the log of the function. You can see log of a minus x. This clear or not? Yes, sir. Now from here, get you got a minus one and a minus. You can see minus one divided by minus one is there. So I will multiply this minus. So you will get minus log of a minus x. Now clear or not? Sir, clear. All of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. मेरे मेरी भी कोरोना है लेकिन इतना शायद मुझे दोबारा टेंपरेचर चढ़ जाए इतना बोल बातें मैंने कर दी सर अल्लाह दिन की दासी अल्लाह दास लोग सेहत दर की सर बच्चू स्टे क्या ना जमा करो मार खालात खराब जिसे कहते हैं तो तस्मा वो चीज़ यूँ ही कुछ छुटाई कॉल हुआ ना अगर मार मसला था क्या ना सो नो so f the uh, uh, function is in the denominator and its derivative is present in the denominator so we can take directly log of a minus x so you can see log of a minus x this minus is from minus 1 so you can say how to solve this one so this is very lengthy procedure so i told you so this is i can write down minus log of a minus x now integration or dt you can cancel with each other so you will left with kt and put plus some constant and in the case of integration we put some constant which is plus c now this the, you got how we can we, we can get this one from the above equation this is is it clear or not yes sir clear is sir now, if all of you clear that it is clear to me, then I will go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. How to solve this one? dx divided by a minus x. First, you can see you have to follow this procedure. Multiply and divide by minus 1. This one you can see minus 1 divided by minus 1. Multiplied by minus 1 divided by minus 1. So you can see the same dx divided by a minus x is there. Now I can write down one divided by minus one and to minus one you can you can take minus one there. Now if we take the derivative of a minus x, you will get minus one. This you can see. This is derivative of a minus x is always equal to minus one. So I can, instead of minus 1, I can put derivative of a minus x. Now, we come to the rule. This is the rule, the integration rule. If we have a function in the denominator and its derivative is present in the denominator, so we can take directly log of the function. You can see this one, log of a minus x. How minus comes? You can see minus 1 divided by minus 1. So this minus will be multiplied. You can see minus log of a minus x is equal to kt plus c. Now clear or not? Clear, yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, okay. Now, if suppose that the bullet time is 0, now automatically there will no there will be no product form so we can put x is equal to zero if in the above equation for example in this equation if we put minus log of a minus x is equal to kt plus c if we put x is equal to zero so you will left with minus log of a is equal to is equal to c you can see this one is equal to c minus log of a is equal to c this this clear or not yes sir now put this equation in the first one. So minus log of a minus x is equal to kt. Instead of c, we will put minus log of a. Can we can we write or not? Yes, sir. So we first uh, values there, put over. Exactly. Instead of c, we will put minus log of a. So we can put in this equation. You can oh my god. This one. The uh, in equation one, 
is equal to kt plus c and instead of plus c we will put minus minus log of a so you can see minus log of a minus x is equal to kt minus log of a so rearranging log of we are if we rearrange this one so log of a divided by a minus x is equal to kt our k is equal to 1 over t log of a divided by a minus x this clear or not sir clear yes sir say hello g sir okay now you can see k is a constant t is a variable log of a divided by a minus x is a variable if we plot this one log of a divided by a minus x versus t you will get slope k this clear or not yes sir clear yes sir okay so now come i will come to the um, the rule this is the rule better you can see so v so uh, this is so this is the rule i will put here this is if we have a derivative the x divided by dx function x and x derivative function okay <clears throat> this is your this one if we have a function now you can see this this can you see this one if we have a function in the denominator f of a and you can see a derivative in the nominator so we can go directly log of uh, I forgot to take the log. Wait, wait. Log of log of. Okay, now, now you can see this is you can see if we have a function in the denominator and its derivative is present in the denominator so you can see we will take the log of f of x now this is clear or not this one hello no sir sir this is you can see i said if this is f of x and its derivative is present in the denominator i took log of f of x this is dx you can see dx divided by a minus x integration how to solve this one then what we did we multiplied by minus one and we 
multiplied and we divide by minus one. And then what we did, one divided by minus one and we multiplied minus one with dx. This clear or not? Clear, yes, sir. Now, I can write, instead of minus one, I can write down a minus x and then minus one, I can put d divided by dx into a minus x because minus one is the minus one is equal to the derivative of a minus x according to this one i solve d divided by dx into a minus x when we solve so we get minus one so minus one i put a minus x now this is if this is a minus x is a function and you can see derivative is there in the denominator deno in the denominator so i have to what i did I took log of log of a minus x. So according, this is the rule. If we have f of x in the denominator function and its derivative in, is present in the denominator, so we have to go directly for the log of x. From where we got the minus? Because minus one, you can see one over minus one. So that's why we multiplied by minus one. No, now is clear or not? Sir, is me f kya hai? माइनस वन I instead of minus one, I put d divided by dx into a minus x. So d divided by dx, you can see here, I I wrote d divided by dx f of x. Yes. Sir. No clear or not? Clear. Yes, sir. F of x is a minus x. Suppose it a minus x. Then okay. you can see what I uh, you can see d divided by dx f of x into f of, divided by f of x. Now you can see here. A minus x in the denominator, and in the denominator you can see d divided by dx into a minus x. F of x, a minus x. This is the function. Now clear or not? Clear, yes, sir. Oh my God! Anyone, if if you do, if you have some problem, please I will not go ahead. Um, uh, I will repeat the same in the next class also. Sir, clear, yes, sir. Please help each other because this is mathematics. एक तो ऑनलाइन भी है आपको बहुत मुश्किल होता है कि वो कैसे समझाएं बंदा और दूसरा ये कि मैथमेटिकली बैकग्राउंड भी आप लोगों की नहीं है तो मुश्किल इसी के लिए मुश्किल है। I know it's very difficult, but if you don't understand, please ask me. I will repeat the same in the next class if you don't understand. Okay? Okay, sir. जब तक आपको समझ ना आई हो उस वक्त तक हम आगे नहीं जाएंगे सर सही है सर ये स्लाइड शेयर कर दे तो हम खुद भी स्टडी कर लेंगे इसको अभी तो अभी मैं तो कर दूंगा बेटा लेकिन अभी जो आप उससे पिक्चर ले सकते हैं ना कि ये क्या क्या हुआ है ये कैसे आता है तो मैं नेक्स्ट क्लास में आप मुझे मुझसे पूछ सकते हैं कि अगर आप इसको रिपीट करें ये तो मैं श्योरली आई विल रिपीट आई विल हेल्प यू आउट ओके जी सर थैंक यू सर हां यू आर वेलकम So this was all about the first order reaction. Still, if you have problems, please ask me in the next class and and try to learn it. Because if you don't learn now, you will never learn. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Share me the attendance. Any question? No. Sir, screenshot my wall. Sir, attendance. Naji. Ah, uh, say the bachu. Okay. Now, sir. स्वागस्तो
uh, Assalamualaikum sir Assalamualaikum uh, Sir, ye jo aapne hume ye lecture padha hai na to ye aap hume kab tak send karenge Inshallah Inshallah main so koshish karta hu ki aap ko main next week send kar de raha और सर ये हमारे मिड टर्म जो है उसकी रिजल्ट कब तक आएगी मैंने चेक नहीं किया बेटा अभी तक उनकी बात मत कीजिएगा प्लीज जो अभी ओके सर ठीक है ठीक है सर ओके ओके अल्लाह हाफिज़ अल्लाह हाफिज़ सर ओके अल्लाह हाफिज़